Ahem. Today, I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was steeled away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Man, the limited 3D graphics in this game are so charming. Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome to Paper Mario. The th I almost said the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Super Paper Mario. New LP, probably number 25 or something. We've had a lot of LPs. Yep, and I, I have no idea what's going on. Technically, I think it's technically LP8 because we're doing a redo. I LP'd this a long time ago, and the audio quality was garbage, the visuals were garbage, my commentary was garbage, and we're not doing that again. <laughs> so I permanently privated all those videos to have a redo. <laughs> Fair enough. With now Cameron. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I guess so. Yeah. Wow, we're at level 40 already? That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, should we... Well, I already have two accounts named Phoenix, and the other one's named Flamers. What do you want this save file to be named? Uh... Let's see here. Uh... Uh, C... Okay. Uh... In an older case. Uh, A... Okay. M... You wanna just call Cameron? <laughs> Alright. That's not how you spell my name. Cameron. <laughs> is that not how you spell your no, name? No, it is. Okay. I was like, damn, I've been dating for this long and I had no idea. Fun fact for all those listening, if you rearrange my name, you can spell the word romance. Yeah. I used that pickup line and it got me zero bitches. Yeah, that's why he didn't use it on me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't need to. I was, uh... I was just your type. Yeah. Yeah. Tall, stupid. And dumb. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing else. <laughs> I got no other redeeming qualities. Wow, sure is peaceful today, eh, hey, bro? Mm-hmm. I'm Italian. <laughs> Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yup, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit boring. Makes you just wanna... Kablooey, you know, some kind of shocking event. I thought I forgot that in Thousand Year Door you gave Luigi a deep voice. <laughs> like I, I gave him one that was more, hey! like, more like, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Yeah. But uh. You don't want to do that for this one? No, he hit puberty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, you look at the background; you can see all of our partner po po partner Pokemon partners in the previous games in the little windows. Yeah, I see. I see Gumshoe, and I see. Uh, I see Phoenix, right? <laughs> oh my god, my favorites! <laughs> yeah, my, fav my favorite partners! Missile! <gasps> Missile! <laughs> These are all references for another Let's Play, by the way. Yeah, you guys should watch that one instead of this one. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, our Princess Peach's place, maybe? That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. And pipe the fu- I mean, it has been a while. I'm, sh I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> Mario, help! The man says it's been captured! <laughs> Fucking Toad? What, what happened? Why are you so crazy? <laughs> the shocking Mushroom Castle Raiden Princess Peach is stolen! Wh what? Why, that's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such. I bet Bowser. I bet my daughter would. Wait a second. Yeah, I, th I think I got it. Bro, this must be the worst you know, the work of that guy. That that bad guy. Hmm. Oh! Hi! <laughs> I won't stand for this. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty funny. <laughs> we'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. Did you just assume Bowser's gender? That's so fucked up, man. 
Okay, whatever, just fucking leave me behind. We're getting out of you, Mario Bros. I was about to say. Now what? it's the first and last time we'll see Toad. Godspeed, my friend. <laughs> I was about to say, what if, what if that wasn't actually a Toad and it was Count Black and he's like setting them up? Ooh. Oh, ha, ha. Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. Yeah! It's our turn, Bowser! Whoa, whoa! Yeah, our turn! You're rudeness! Whoa, whoa! We're under attack! We're under attack! Bowser, whoa! Ha <laughs> ha ha! We're under attack! You jokers are the best! Hey, who, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. Mario and... Luigi? <laughs> How'd you get in here? Hey! Well, my front gate was open. How many times have I told those idiots if you're the last in, lock the gate? Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now, where'd you put her? Wait, 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 what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario, help! Fun fact, I couldn't remember how to do Princess Peach's voice, so I practiced in the car, and for 10 minutes straight I was doing that voice, pulled into the neighborhood, and then off of my voice I just went, Man, I'm fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. True story, it happened today. <laughs> Princess Peach? Just gonna move that over here. <laughs> Black! Oh, who, okay, who is saying this dialogue? Is this- Cal Black. <laughs> Why does- I hate when people refer to themselves in the fucking third person. He's gonna do that a lot. You're gonna be aggravated with him a lot. <laughs> uh, and there's no speech bubble indicating where- Like, like I, I get that. I know. Who else? <coughs> like. Anyways, that's just a pet peeve of mine. Your princess has been taken by a... Swing! <laughs> Count Black! Hey, I've read white, I didn't know you appear in this game! You, you wait... By who? <laughs> by me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesies to come to this dimension is also Count Black. Uh, I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Count Black. <laughs> Enough, release Princess Peach right now. I'm on a schedule over here. I ain't making overtime. <laughs> I got a dentist appointment at 11, I gotta make it too. <laughs> Count Black says never. This princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. She will be brought to Count Black and used to destroy all worlds. By Count Black. D destroy all worlds? Bang. Bro, I got jizzed on, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't consent to this. Big bro. This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, uh, here's a thought. You calm down and free the princess. Or else. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. <laughs> In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. Put my cool coat. <laughs> Black. Black. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> Black. Swing. Oh, oh! What happened to me? What is this place? Why am I on a ship? 
Is this me? Yeah. Well, I, I, I can't do anything. Huh? I can't press the buttons or else something bad's gonna happen. We're gonna skip the cutscene. What voice am I giving this guy? What? He's... He, look at him. <laughs> Is this gonna be us? Bowser! You rule! Hi Peach! Nice dude! Oh hell! Nice dude! Oh hell! Hi Peach! I love how they're all taking a chance to say hi Yo, to Peach. Yo, was she single? Well, what's going on here? Count? Yeah, um, okay, so preparations are complete. Mmm, then it shall be begun by Count Black. The fucking red white voice? <laughs> Bowser, ferocious and fearsome, evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? Wahaha! Ha, ha. Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes! <laughs> Peach, a noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lovely wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second! You're gonna have to explain to me what's going on right now! <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess! But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? <laughs> El plus ratio! <laughs> Oh, hey, no gripes from this side of the altar. I don't get the details, but the Count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this. Oh. That's Bowser. <laughs> okay, to be fair, it's pointed to the yeah. Count. No, and who picked out this dress? It's awful! I would've gone with the mermaid style! <laughs> yeah, so, um, being rude to the esteemed Count is sort of frowned on, okay? So, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the Count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedly husband till your games be over? I uh, no! <laughs> Gee, you sure are a fighter. Well, yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis, sorry. I do. Say it, okay? What? Oh, she is Luigi. <laughs> Th that's you, bro. <laughs> the the, the, the dialogue's going so fast. <laughs> I can't stop. Oh, is that Princess Peach over there? And that guy is. Hey! The dialogue's so fucking fast. I'm sorry, fast. I literally. If I press any button, the cutscene ends. <laughs> It scared me so bad, I accidentally opened up one of my apps at full volume. <laughs> <laughs> Black, yes, all precisely as written in the Dark Prognosticus. Already it has unleashed the Chaos Heart. Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Kelly. Uh, I don't even know who the fuck that is. And just who are you, asked Count Black. I'm so confused with who's... Who's, like, dialoguing these? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna, you guys are gonna have to read most of this. Here I go! Hey, I'm gonna need you to stop right there, okay? If you interrupt this now... Bonk! Bonk. Here's where Luigi rescues Princess Peach. Uh, uh. What the fuck? Oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone gets nuked. <laughs> Look at my cool diary. <laughs> um, yeah, so are you alright, Count? Fools, pointless acts like these will earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well, as the Chaos Heart is secured, this a ragtag group now lacks use. Um, yeah, uh, Count, this means that you can turn your page into dark the pro prophecies or whatever. Open your mouth, darkness! Ah. I'm sticking my cock in it! <gasps> As you can tell, 
I've never played this game. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, redhead. You little redheaded bitch. Mario? Mario? <laughs> Just slaps the Italian. Hi. Are you awake? Hi. My name is Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came here to find you. I am no enemy. We just fucking punched the, the fucking butterfly across the map. It, it's, it, it's like the... Ah! Ah! <laughs> you met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king? Is that not so? Then that means Count Black is now beginning to form the void. The void. The void. <laughs> we haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, and if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Oh, no. I'm in the box! <laughs> Let's go. This is the best music in the game. I, lo I love this area so much. This, uh, this, uh, this is my area. This, this is my bitch. This is my favorite game as a child. This is awesome. I'm gonna suck this game's dick so hard. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> oh ho! Well, well, well. Back so soon to be. And who might this be? A red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash. Oh my god, stop! Oh, Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the light Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. Me? Me? What the fuck? Oh, I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You've come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your own dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name? I'm Merlin! I'm a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. Hi! Ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? Ah, so Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. No. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. My hat? <laughs> No, I mean that big ass purple thing in the sky. Oh my god, I love the big ass purple thing in the sky. Do you see that big ass purple thing in the sky? Oh my god, I do! Look at it! It is a hole! Some may say a vagina. In the very dimensional fabric of space, <laughs> such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? None know, it may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black. You know that pompous asshole? He wields the Dark Prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a ferocious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. Isn't that just what Queso's called? The consumer of worlds? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the Void. Yes, the passage t uh, Tippy just quoted is from the Light Prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the Void will swallow all. Not can stop it unless the one protected by the Dark Power is destroyed. A hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is written. I love being a prophecy. Oh! Sir, where were you hiding that? I conveniently have one of the eight pure hearts. <laughs> you are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Nah. What? How can you refuse? 
If you do not accept this, all worlds will end. You must. Again. <laughs> if you keep saying no. Excellent. You truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. If My eyes never deceive. If you do keep saying no, you get an instant game over. <laughs> so, Mario, our brave hero, take this. <laughs> Just chucks a fucking pure heart at us. Oh my god, we did it, guys! LP over. You got a pure heart! Yeah, gotta go fast! A pure heart has been thrusted into your possession. I want to get thrusted into my possession. No, great hero Mario. Your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it inside of your heart. Alright, yes, you say so. Yes, I mean open heart <laughs> surgery on yourself. <laughs> no! <laughs> but I'm not the doctor. <laughs> I'm a plumber. <laughs> Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. Oh, God. This way. When blah appears, press the red direction on the D-pad to examine things or talk to people. Nice. We're on Flipside Tower. I'm gonna Look kill myself. Hi. Press it, please. Oh, what the... I love getting on the elevator. What the hell? This elevator is so cool. I love it. I love traveling. Uh, what up, Tippy? Who the fuck is this verb looking motherfucker? <laughs> this way, please. Come along. What, this person? Yeah. Oh, hello there. Is this your first time in Flipside? We don't get many visitors, so I'm just glad I got to meet you. Take care. At least she's happy. Is that another elevator? What, that? No, what we're in right now. Another elevator, yeah. Everything manifests. And everything disappears. And everything is here. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Yeah, bitch, I got it! Whee! That dude looks like Squidward if he was, like, block-shaped. Ha, 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 weird thing in the sky. It wasn't there yesterday. Did a cloud blow up? Ha, <laughs> what am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? Ha, ha, ha. get the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> this is the heart pillar. Now, get close and place the pure heart. Okay. No, I'm good. I'm gonna just gonna... I want to keep my, my oh. pure heart. I was gonna rub my face up against it, but I guess I'll do this too. Isn't this game awesome? Yeah. I I'm gonna suck this game's dick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? So much. Look, I made a door. That's not a door. It's a jar. When is a door not a door? But it's a jar! <laughs> I'm gonna end my own life. Well done. <laughs> now let's return to Merlin. Okay! <laughs> Bye, Squidward. <laughs> Bye, Squidward. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Krabs. Bye, Bye Squidward. Squidward. I was thinking that same thing. You said goodbye, Squidward, twice. I like Squidward. <laughs> I think that means SpongeBob wants to do the. You know it's canonic that uh, Spongebob is asexual? Well, because he's a sponge. I guess. And they, they do asexual reproduction. Yeah. Also, you know, they don't need another partner, by the way. They possess male and female traits so they can make their own babies. Yeah, asexual reproduction. Fuck you. <laughs> Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin? Yeah, it's a lot different than me. I commit homosexual <laughs> reproduction. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Hit this block to save your progress! This way, when your game ends, aka you die, you can surf in the last save point. Why is it assuming our game's gonna end? This shit ass! <laughs> Why is it assumes that, like, yeah, you're gonna die? Might as well save your game! <laughs> can you quit it? Quit touching me. But how can I not touch you? <laughs> Oh, I bet you're wondering how the fuck I got here. <laughs> He's been here this whole time. Oh, the two of you return. 
I like how you gave him the red white voice, just like Count Black. No, Count Black's got like a a little, a little different inflection. This is like a, this is like an older version. I of thought I thought you were gonna give him like the judge's voice or something. Oh no, the, the judge is like a man of like prestige. This is just like an old wise guy. <laughs> That's not the judge. <laughs> no, no, the judge the judge is a uh, he he reminds me of like a oh I guess you wouldn't know this but there's like a there's in fucking the show Food Wars. There's like the director of the of like the of this like uh, place. He's like an old guy, but like he, uh, he's like fucking jacked underneath the, <laughs> underneath like his and you're robes. Like, yeah, that's the judge. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like underneath those robes, he hides just a fucking like ten pack. <laughs> like man, it's fucking ripped. No, Anyways, really. look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. That's really cool. I didn't ask though. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure heart. Couldn't you say that about like anything? Like if I walked outside, eventually I'll find a fucking like Chinese McDonald's. <laughs> Why Chinese McDonald's? I was just giving something that's like not definitely not around here, but like think, think about it. Like if you just walk up anything, like he's like he's like eventually if you get through this door you'll find a pure heart. It's like. It's like yeah. Well, I think I think what they're trying to say is that it leads to the like the world that ha like has one and whatnot. Well, yeah, but I'm am just saying like you can you it's can like, say that about fucking anything like. It's like uh, it's like whales when they do like the echolocation. The the pure heart is doing an echolocation and they're like oh found the closest one here you guys go. Yeah. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. It's a Glock. <laughs> Man, I want a Glock. Return pipe, a magic pipe that returns you to Flipside from afar. With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. Use a return pipe to scan important item, important things on the menu screen. Just remember, then some areas the signal from flip side might not reach. Oh, that's their canonical reasoning behind you not being able to go to flip side from some place. That's just that's just fucking the developers of this game being like. You can't do that. <laughs> being like, we're too lazy to to code it in so that you can access flip side from any, from anywhere. The light prognosticus foretells that a hero will meet a dimension governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the flip wizard, Bestovius. I love Bestovius. So go now, through this door, and seek out Bestovius. You know what I will. Well, let's get going. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> I didn't have to do open heart surgery. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Black. The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All is gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Wow, that's super cool, Count! Yeah, first you erase all those nasty worlds, and then you're gonna go build a perfect world without war and all that icky stuff. You want me to mention you? <laughs> what, what voice should I give to the- Give him a, it's like a whimsical kind of guy. I don't know what a whimsical fucking voice is. <laughs> yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff, yes! A perfect world sounds magical! <laughs> I can hardly stand the weight! Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> what, boys and rod racks? What are you being myself here? What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you got muscles instead of brains. <laughs> Alright. You can't be fooling me with that crazy ship shifting hell hegory. It's me, me, in it. Show a little respect for your count. Ain't you going around borrowing its face, lass? <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly, thanks, Count. 
with you around is something but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the cow. That's my idea of a perfect world. I forgot what fucking voice I gave to this dude. You were like, yo, me, me, me. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, have you read my diary? I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different folks. Minions. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the fucking saying, like. <laughs> minions. <laughs> After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, as it must... Oh, wait. We must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Just an FYI, I got an urgent memo in your inbox. Apparently there has been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the hero of the prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper, and possibly the hero. Are you sure of it, Natasha? That's right. Nasta Nastasia. 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 That's it. Yeah, Nastasia. Interesting. Muse to Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black. Let me get this right in the brain. The hero Nastasia's talking about. He your enemy. Then I ought to cut me loose out of my gotcha. I'm gonna give him a gold chase of old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero chunk into you. Do not fail the Count Black. Then count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm. I swear on it. Maybe it'll match you. Maybe you should tag along. Then you can win this proper chumping. Mm, I do enjoy a good chucking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. Peace out. <laughs> so, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Black. He just flips off the camera on the way out. <laughs> Mario has called upon was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Chapter 1. Dash 1. An adventure unfolds. Oh shit, we got dashes now? Yeah. Each chapter has four parts. This is my dick hard. <laughs> oh, it's a remix! I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Okay. Marilyn told us to find his friend, Bestovius, to learn that the dimensional technique. We better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Simply point your weird remote at the screen and tip you will focus on wherever you're pointing. Then just press the A over with anything in the frame and the red and nation of your body. Feel free to ask Timmy about anything or anyone you want. Light Land Road? My favorite hey, card- OH SHIT! Hey Tippy, why can't I get any bitches? You simply just don't get bitches, Mario. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, this is a mushroom! Grab these to recover HP! Whee! Fuck it, wait, can I ground pound? Wait, I forgot. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I thought I can ground pound. Is this something you unlock later? I guess I unlock it later. Can I? <laughs> Get to be on the beer! <laughs> Help! Get me out of here! <laughs> Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> you wanna me in the door? <laughs> Let me in. Wee! Oh, what the? Oh, wait, hold on. It looks like a little pig. What the fuck? This is a this is a spoinglet. It's a small creature that carries around 
the series around and its many legs. Nice speed two attack is one. There isn't much to say about Squiglet. When it spots an enemy, it gets excited and hops up and down. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you just fucked it. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, I did fuck it. Alright, you ready to learn about dimensions? Yeah, yeah, I love dimensions. I live in one. Oh. This is not an empty house. There should be something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find anything hidden. Why don't you use my power to look around? Uh, oh shit, this big ass door here? There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. Thanks, Tippy. This is a door. Let's go inside. Oh, I, I had no idea. Why? I, 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 I thought I was going to try and eat it. <laughs> I love eating doors. Mm. Why that man or mustache that stand before me? And what does this have any audacity addressing the. M oh, I forgot what voice I gave him already. <laughs> and what does this have the uh, audacity to address my multicolored glory? Or did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Why, right there! Red shirt, suspicious. Oh. Conspicuous. Suspicious white gloves, shanty cap. Ah, you are the. You are gathered in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great. Hero! Impersonator! Impersonator. <laughs> what a costume! You look like you leaped out of the page of the, the Pernocticus. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin! Oh, and this full of body bared rivals my hairy magnificence. If Merlin thinks that you're the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestobius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. For an annual fee of uh, 10,000 coins. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. But that's preposterous. We can't charge. You can't charge to teach the hero the prophecy. Why not? Even the grand Spatorius. Uh, uh, I forgot his name. Splendiferous Bestovius. Splendiferous Bestovius is certainly a expenditures. <laughs> Why should the great hero of the world deliver him? <laughs> Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? These heroes think they can just get away with shaking people down for free skills? A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for the hero of the universe. What do you say? Oh, I left my wallet at all. <laughs> what if we try to swindle him? We don't have- we have two coins to our name. <laughs> so uh, do we say yes or no? Yes. Fabulous! Wait a minute, you want 10,000 coins! I should have expected from the cheapskate of a hero with a scrimsley mustache. Now that I know that you're determined to cheat me out of the due tribute, I will settle this by taking all your coins from your pocket. I mean, it's only like three dollars. No. Bro, no. it's three dollars! No, fuck this guy. He, he didn't steal him from yeah, us. Yeah, fuck you! Still, you refuse? So be it. Though it makes me ill, I will waive the <laughs> date you for free. Do you agree with this? Yes. Yeah, that works for me. Skindulating? Skindulating! Let us begin! I don't think I've ever heard of I that one. I changed his voice four fucking times. Skibbity, scabbity, scoo! Diggity, doggity, doo! Zibbity, zabbity, zoom! Shaboom! Shabam! Flippo! Aw, shit. We learned how to crap ourselves. <laughs> yeah, now you can shit yourself whatever you want! <laughs> Yes! Yes, let's go! Yes! I, Bestovis, will grant you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press the A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. And what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? Hey! What is this A button I speak of? I assure you that we are, we are being watched for another dimension. <laughs> Those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability and find hidden items and secret paths. Beware, use your ability for too long, you will lose HP. I love how in his head cannon, the more mustache you have, <gasps> the the more like woke you are. Yeah. He's, he's like he's he's like he's like you lack the mustache for this comprehension. 
Use the flip ability to flip into 3D. Flip between 2D and 3D to get through tricky situations with that sequence. While you're flipping, the flip gauge in the upper left hand corner on your screen will start to drop. If your flip gauge runs out, you'll start to take damage. So flip back for them. Flip back to 2D and build up your flip gauge again. I'm gonna eat these. I'm gonna kick so much shit. Alright, thanks, old man. See ya! I took your shit. Bye bye. <laughs> I found your secret stash! Is there anything in this room? <gasps> Ooh! Oh. Get ready for my depth perception to fuck up on this when we go slip to 3D. Oh, good. Ooh! Wait, what's this? These Power are pills. Power pills! Little pals will follow you and take damage and enemies they hit. Oh my god, look at them. They're little guy. Ooh! I found a squiglet! If you collect an enemy card catch, you can boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power as double, triple, or more than triple. Damn, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool concept. I want to save my progress. Is there anything cool in there? Nope. Okay. Assholes. Well, you did double your damage against them. Yeah. I want to make it with these guys. <gasps> this game is Oh, wait, awesome. does that mean... Yeah! Oh, oh you want to see something sad? <laughs> You're fucking running into them. Oh wait, I can slide just to... Man, I love this game. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? I just wanted to do this. I want you to see these little guys. Aren't they adorable? A little bit. <laughs> I think this is where we should call it. So we're at 40 minutes. Yeah, I think so. We, we've gone through the introduction of the game and... I'm gonna be sad if I reload the game and these guys aren't here anymore. I will, I will be sad as well. But, yeah, we got to a good start. We got we got everything started. Learned about the uh, main villain and uh, his, uh, his bros. Do we actually get to see what Mimi actually looks like? You don't get to see her for a little bit. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. But... Wait, you don't remember playing this game? I never played this game. Wait, you really never played this game before? No, I never played any of the Paper Mario games. Well, why do you think I don't? I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, I you're, said that at the beginning. You're in for I have no a idea what's going story, on. Man. Fair enough. But the audience is in for it too. Uh, as we continue on with our adventure in the next one. Anyways. Yeah, my autism is showing, guys. I got that dog in me. <laughs> yeah, by dog, you, you mean autism. It's aut It's actually a hot dog. <laughs> Not, the right. <laughs> Not the red one. Not the All beef hot dog with no toppings. Just a plain hot dog. <laughs> Alright, anyway. take care, everyone. Bye!